Listen, I don't usually upload on Mondays, but yesterday something incredible happened. The hat trick, the trifecta, if you will, of Dragon Ball announcements slash trailers dropped, and we're here to check them out today. We have the Sparking Zero Goku versus Vegeta Rivals trailer. We have the Dragon Ball Daima, a new trailer for that, and the third Kakarot DLC season two trailer. It's just, it's, it's a lot. So I'm not gonna waste too much time. I do know that the roster for Sparking Zero was also sort of uh teased or so like they showed some of them and i have the list as well so after the sparking zero trailer we'll get into that and then daima and then kakarot so without further ado let's uh let's hop into these bad boys we'll start with sparking zero unreal engine i think five okay yeah i don't again i don't even know what this trailer is about or if it's just more to tease more of sparking zero it's like yeah again it's gonna be goku versus vegeta God, it looks so good, man. Actual gameplay and cutscenes said. Great aim form. Dude, okay, I'm sorry. I don't I don't mean to pause. Is this, if this is actual gameplay, bro. The like black dude, that goes so crazy. Okay. That goes crazy. That goes absolutely dummy. Kind of like it looks like, like an impact frame. Challenging limits. Yeah, dude, they're not showing much at all. They are flexing how nice it looks. There was that black and white again. It's just like them slowly ramping up more and more. Dude, it's just like the bright, vibrant colors. My favorite thing is heavy outlines, like heavy lines on the outside of the characters. That's my, mm, that vibrance, baby. So now it's like, it's like, okay, we're taking Tenkaichi and yeah, that's how it's like distinguishing it to new levels, like everything in super and beyond. Mm -hmm. It's like, this is what we got now, baby. This is a very smart way to do a trailer, though, without showing too much of your hands. It's like all the different forms that didn't exist in previous Tenkaichi games. I'm looking for what's beyond strength. That's sick. Oh, man. And yeah, I, I did hear there is no release. Hey, so this, I believe, is what people were saying is like the teaser for the number of characters. Wishlist now. Give us a date, Toei. Or Bandai Namco. I don't know who decides it. Spike Chunsoft. But I'm guessing since we still don't have a date, that means we are not seeing this game this year. I hate to... Can you? My cat is playing with a toy in the background. Maybe if we get a release date within like two or three months, then yes, I will say this year. But don't think that's a good sign if they're not still saying in January. Who knows though? Who knows? I'd rather it take time and just be pristine. Okay, so this is where we have sort of the roster, but I think this other page shows it a bit better. Yes. Okay, here we go. The first 24 characters are revealed. And I think we have a list too. Now, this was a very smart way to do it because I think they're kind of grouped up. So like all the Vegetas are here and like going down to there so i don't know how many vegetas there are if it's like rows like that i think we have like more of the og z fighters yamcha krillin up here in the top left bottom right it's gonna be more super like broly freaking bergamo and i love how the bergamo shot is from the last trailer trunks stuff like that and then bottom left is kind of just dedicated to goku so how many slots is this total I, i'm not gonna count that it's a lot and then we have ourselves sort of like an official list so like all the gokus and all the vegetas and like i said this is sort of a just tease for or all the go like forms of Goku and Vegeta that are in the game. And this is pretty standard for a Dragon Ball game. Like getting to use every individual version uh, in different fights. And I think besides this, like this list just shows, shows all the Vegeta and Gokus in addition to what we've seen like Bergamo and all them. And it's interesting because they're not showing their full hand yet. Unless there is no like Goku Ultra Instinct because we have Goku Super Saiyan God Super Saiyan, but no Ultra Instinct. And then same for Vegeta. He has SSGSS, but none of the I, I can't for the life of me remember the the blue like sparkling version like right beyond blue for vegeta so i wonder if those aren't included or if, like i said they're just keeping more like sort of hidden still either way man really sick trailer i uh, do i just can't, i can't wait i need to go back and play more to kaiji 3 and i think you guys would agree okay on to daima that was only a minute long trailer i did not react actually to the first daima trailer i didn't want to like fake react to it but i have not seen this one so son goku character trailer and i believe i I, I haven't looked at the info for Daima since the first trailer came out. It's like a, a scenario where they were all turned back into kids, which I think a lot of people were mad that they're not adapting the super manga. And I kind of kind of understand that, especially if you've been waiting. I haven't been waiting that long, but I feel like it's a very cool concept considering you can kind of kind of go back to the roots because they're kids again. They're not as powerful, I'm guessing, in that form. So let's see how this trailer goes. It also looks absolutely adorable. And I like the art style too. Is, 
Is this gonna be like one of those trailers where it's just music and then random scenes from the show? I think it is. Kind of them flexing what the show will look like. Yeah, well, like I said, like more martial arts back to the basics, which is cool, especially because Dragon Ball has gone to such crazy heights. I see exactly why they did this. Oh my, is that Bergamo? So did all of them get turned into kids? I guess it's just a Goku trailer. Why do these guys look familiar? These like grunts. Oh, it's gonna bother me. Oh no, I think they just remind me of Chamba. Dude, the, I mean, the animation looks so clean. Like him using the power pole, it's sick. Don't know how I feel about the logo still, but that's that's more like a minor gripe. <laughs> Trailers like that are so funny. We're just there's just no sound, no voice lines or anything. I think it's the colors of the brush stroke behind it that I'm not the biggest fan of. I mean, at least we have a date for this one. I actually did not realize it was the fall of this year. That's pretty exciting. But I think it is confirmed. It's going to be like only 12 episodes, 24 episodes. Let me find out 20 episodes. OK, but I mean, that's still solid. So the wait for that continues and there will be a reaction series to that on this channel. Channel, so make sure you're subscribed and not miss it next trailer okay so here's the thing about this i know that this trailer it's called goku's next journey dlc this is going to be the final dlc in kakarot for the season two pass i don't know if they're gonna do anything beyond this i'm hoping they do like the tournament of power because i think that would be so sick and i believe that this covers the end of z with the entire thing with majin buu all i know about it is that he's like reincarnated into whatever oob is or if, if that's even like a human i don't know either way whenever i play through it. it will be just like the Kakarot series where I will be relatively confused the whole time. Let's watch the trailer. I hope you're reborn as someone good this time. Okay. Don't really know why he was reincarnated either, or like later. how. I think it was like <laughs> later. I think it was like natural. Was that is that like teal? Kind of looks clean. It's like a more neutral color for looks Goku. Like it's about time. Goku's next journey. I've also been told, quick sidebar, that this part of the manga slash show is very short, and a lot of people are very surprised they're turning into a DLC. So I'll be very intrigued to see how they stretch it out because I felt like that the tournament, the the last DLC for Kakarot, the World Tournament DLC, was like the perfect length, and I I think people have said that that arc is sort of like double, triple what this is in the anime manga so I, I really don't know how they're gonna stretch it maybe some like game canon content like original story stuff you want to enter the world tournament tomorrow the so does he fight him fight. in the tournament there's this guy who signed up to fight yesterday mm. i think he might be really strong and that's oob okay nice to meet you kind of seems like a chill vibe i'm not gonna lie this guy's the real deal what happened with oob and super like there uh, as, was was there ever I, I i for the life of me do not remember i mean boo is in super right so was oob like a separate reincarnation and then they just did nothing with him i guess he's a kid there's like still potential they could use him later on the wish of 10 years ago so this seems like it's only gonna be one fight goku versus and they're like chill with each other i mean this has to by far be the shortest one right like bardock then the 23rd then this one and i feel like if they are to do a third season pass they have to use the turn of power because like how much else could i guess they could do gt wouldn't that be crazy playing kakarot instead of watching gt who in their right minds would do that but no, this doesn't look too bad. I, I would be pretty hesitant. How many like manga chapters is it? Dragon Ball Z arcs. Kid Buu Saga, nine chapters or 12 episodes. That is quite short. Although I could definitely see 12 episodes being turned into one DLC, like one, maybe two hour DLC. Cause they could definitely pad it with just random stuff. So that's, 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 that, that's a little bit. Oh wait, they turned nine chapters into 12 episodes. That's some one piece pacing, man. Oh my gosh. I could definitely see it happening. I mean, it can't be any cheaper though than the rest of the DLC. So they have to kind of pad it in some form or fashion. But yeah, guys, that's been it. I just wanted to react to the, uh, those three things because it was a big drop yesterday and it's very exciting for dragon ball fans getting this much new content and whatnot both show and game wise again i'll be reacting to daima here on the channel once it happens still finishing super up if you want dragon ball games content head over to my non-reaction channel but uh i'll catch you guys in the next one peace peace